If you feel like you're eating all of the right foods, you're taking in your protein, you're exercising regularly, and yet you are not seeing any changes in your body because you have a hormonal imbalance, I'm going to help clarify that for you and potentially help you understand why. Hi, my name is Sheba and I'm here to talk to you about your thyroid health. However, in this video, we're not gonna just talk about your thyroid hormone, we're also going to cover the other two in our triad, which I've talked about in a previous video. So we're also going to talk about estrogen and cortisol. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm actually going to use myself as an example and show you the difference in being educated as well as shifting the style of training better suited to your body and its needs is crucial for you. Now this here is a photo of me from 2020. I should mention I have been training regularly and consistently since 2008. At this time, time is when I had my hypothyroidism going on. Additionally, this is also when I had been really, really diving into strongman training because it was something I was really enjoying and I was training to compete in provincials at the time. This also means I was lifting over three, 400 pounds several times a week. I was training to do a car deadlift. I was doing yoke walks, farmer's carries with 350 pounds. I was deadlifting, squatting 300 pounds. I was loving it and I was also consuming a lot of protein. I only had cheat days. I was very, very regimented and disciplined. However, the way that I looked did not match the way that I lived my life. And so I thought I had bloating constantly. I was looking up treatments to help like tighten my abs. I thought that's all it was. Like maybe if I strengthen the muscles, everything will get sucked back in. Maybe if I drink lemon water in the morning, I'll just shit it all out, excuse the language. But that was not the problem. It wasn't until the pandemic hit and I really dove into understanding endocrinology even more, reading about thyroid and hormone health, there were a lot of dots that began to connect and things began to make sense. So here is me recently, April 17th, 2024. I'm not sure when you're watching this video. Now there's a lot of things that have changed and I'm going to explain to you all of those things. Firstly, I understood the impact high intensity training has on the body. The level at which I was training, the amount of weight I was lifting and the number of days I was training was not conducive to my thyroid health. Now your thyroid is basically in charge of your metabolism but metabolism doesn't just include your food and the way that you look, i.e. you've gained weight or you've lost weight. There are a lot of metabolic processes that are happening in your body which are being conducted by your thyroid. This also includes your muscle recovery and repair. The way that I was training was really, really stressing out my thyroid and it wasn't allowing my body to repair at the rate at which I wanted it to. Secondly, I was training so frequently that I was not giving my body ample time to rest and recover. Lastly, I was also doing interval sprints. I was pushing sleds. I was doing a lot of high intensity conditioning and cardio style training. The thing is when there is an imbalance in your thyroid hormone, it can actually also influence your cortisol levels. And when your cortisol levels are also elevated, guess what happens? It also influences your estrogen levels. Now an imbalance in all of these three hormones can result in, guess what? An increase in weight around your abdomen. It can cause facial puffiness because of the hormone imbalance in the body. So it's not a bloat, it's not indigestion, it is a hormonal response to the intensity I was exposing my body to regularly. When the pandemic hit, I also began to train at a lower intensity, mostly because I only had access to limited weights. Since then, I have actually began to quite enjoy it, but after being educated more and more about the hormone system and the proper training for the hormone system, I have seen a huge shift in my body 
in training at a lower intensity. So I'm still doing strength training, but not at the capacity I was before. I do not lift anything over 200 pounds now. And while I do miss it at times, I really also just enjoy that my body is feeling more balanced and more like itself again. So basically now it's more about incorporating low intensity strength training four to five times a week. However, now it's much more controlled and it has declined in terms of like the way I'm pushing myself. And next I am doing low intensity cardio almost every single day. I say almost because sometimes it's raining, sometimes I'm not feeling well, some days work is really, really hectic, so I'm not able to make time to go out for a walk. However, I work as a personal trainer, so I'm constantly moving around and I'm on my feet all day long. In order to really see the results that you're hoping for and you feel like you're doing all the right things, it is important that you assess and evaluate if what you are doing is actually right for what you are going through. It is important to assess your medical conditions, injuries that you have, your lifestyle pattern, your age, your gender, etc., to find a better training program and structure for you to help you see the results that you want and you desire. Now, if you have any further questions, you can leave them in the comments down below. However, if you are looking for a more personalized consultation or call, feel free to DM me or send me an email and I'll be happy to help. help.